All right, so in this video, we are going to create the jQuery UI menu. It's actually quite simple. The way it works is basically you have unordered lists inside of unordered lists to create depth. So in our case, we, I started up with adding a couple of book reviews that I did for a couple of books. Um, most of them are packet books. And in these books, literally all I did is I created a list and I just started putting books inside and you could get the full list of books on zerotogeek.com's book section. Now, in the code itself, let's just see how it looks like. Basically, we have an unordered list. I already gave it an ID. And then we have list items. So for example, the JavaScript one is empty. There's nothing inside of it. And then you see it's just the JavaScript. It has nothing beyond it. Well, for the Air, iOS, and Android, which has two different items inside of it, basically the way it's done is by adding another unordered list right inside of it, whoops, which is basically this one. And in it, you'll see that we have a link to one of the book, one book, which is a flash development for Android cookbook. And you can see that it's right there. We have one link and same is true for the next one. So instead of going through each one of them, how about we just create one sample using the JavaScript one, which is empty right now. So to do that, I'm just going to break a couple of lines. And in the JavaScript line, I'm going to create another UL, another unordered list. Close that unordered list. And I'm going to put just one list item inside of it. And that item is going to be basically a link. And in the link itself, I could put whatever description I want. This is my book published with packet. And by the way, if you've enjoyed this title so far, I strongly recommend that you check my book, which is all about HTML5 graphics and graphing and data visualization cookbook. It's a big word, but it's a fun book. I've built it a, a labor of love of about six months, and I really, really hope you like it. And I hope you check it out. You're going to learn everything you need to know about how to work with graphics in HTML5 using Canvas. Um, it's a very, very accessible book, and I really hope you check, give it a chance. And and I really want to hear from you and know if you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed this title as well. Um, so we created that extra element and we can see that now we have this is my book published with pack. So we have here all these lists of books. Now all that's left for us to do is to basically do what we did with all the other components is basically activate the component. Now that we already have an ID which is called menu, all that's left for us, oh, it had a trailing dollar there. We have to go into our starter function and our constructor you could call it. And in that starter function, we're going to call our menu element using that ID, this hashtag, and then we tell it to become a menu. Once we do that, we should have a menu, but we'll have a little problem because the menu is going to capture all of our screen. And when we roll over it, you'll might, you might see that there's something there on the side, but it's not really good enough. What we want to do is want to limit our menu to be a little bit smaller. So that way we make sure that we could see everything and we could do that in CSS. So I'm just going to approach our menu and I'm just going to limit its width and I'm going to set its width to be, let's say, 220 pixels. And let's hope that the 20, 220 pixels will do. And if I refresh, we'll see now our menu is going to be shorter. And now we're going to be able to see all the different subcategories and even access them if we wanted to. And we could click right into them. And that's all you really have to know about the menu component to be able to start running with it. And as always, check the documentation to be able to play with the styling, to be able to play with all the different other configurations, such as disabling the menu, which you'll find in the documentation.